Good afternoon, everybody. Just pop the door open. I've just noticed, you remember I put the mealworms in yesterday? It looks like they've been ravaged, so that's not a good idea. Oh my God, it's warm. Coffee, coffee. Right, it's a sowing day today. Oh, and I'm gonna be getting um, Brussels sprout seeds tomorrow, which I'm really, and some more compost. Uh, so it's a, a little trip to the uh, garden centre. Um, but I've got, I'm gonna re-sow some more peas, normal peas, where the Mons 2 failed. I'm just, just gonna sow them there. In fact, I thought I'll sow them, and then I'm gonna put some of netting over. Um, I'm gonna save this netting for something big, you know, um, structurally. <clears throat> but this is quite a small area, so I've got some black netting, just a, something I've sort of retrieved from uh, the that black box like it was already here I thought maybe I could cut that up and use that right Someone just walked past, don't want to be shouting. I thought I was on my own here, but I'm actually not. But that's okay. Um, I am, they're on their way home, it looks like. Oh, the sun has just come out. Quick, quick look at the roses. I still haven't cleaned that win the windows, the glass. <laughs> I will though, uh, sooner or later. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna re sow some climbing beans, French climbing beans, some peas more spinach and some spring onion oh um I keep my beetroot keeps failing so i will try and re-sow some of that as well um let's borrow this box we can take put our seeds in there and then put all them back in because the um beetroot beetroot yeah it keeps falling out of the packet it's kind of really ripped up oh and um oh glasses glasses God, it's hot in here. Um, oh, Ingrid Arnold. This is another one that you sent, and I missed it on, and I'm actually steaming up my glasses. And someone said about washing up liquid, I must do that. Uh, might have been you, Jennifer. Um, so gardening is so exciting, I wet my plants. <laughs> I love that. That's so brilliant, I'm gonna put that up in the shed. Thank you so much, Ingrid. So this is, th oh, th glasses. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your allotment journey, Kerry. Please accept this little gift in support of your channel. I hope it makes you smile. From In Ingrid Arnott. Oh, Ingrid, that is absolutely lovely. It definitely does. I'll put it on the door in the inside, you know, so when it's open, people can see it. That's absolutely lovely. Thank you so much. And you, you even, you, these were from you as well. So that's really kind of you. Thank you so much. I look forward to putting that on the door. It's my glass. Can you see the steaming up? Thank you. I've got to drink this coffee and then we're going to crack on. Oh, that's nice. So I've two more days to go and then I'm on my summer holidays. Woohoo! That's the benefits of working in a school. Love it. Love the school holidays. Ah. Yeah, so I did look up. You can re sow peas. Oh, these are the Monge 2 ones. Oh, I do. I did want to just do normal peas. Mm, no. Oh, we'll give them a go, gosh. <sighs> mm, maybe not them then. And I wanted to do normal peas, and I think I had some. I thought I had some at home. I thought they were here. Or maybe I don't. Maybe I'll get some tomorrow and do those. Because winter peas, apparently. I, I never knew. And Brussels sprouts, that's one of those. So Brussels sprouts and peas, that's what I'll buy. I'm not going to try those... Um, March too, because it actually says on the packet March to June for sowing. I want to get um, normal peas that are more winter tolerant, because apparently you can do a late sowing now. I, yeah, I need to get my gardening books up here, I think. But yeah, I might do that next time. I so I've, one of the ones I've got, I've had for absolute years. I think nearly thirty years. It's really battered. I love it though, it's, it's a really good book. I haven't looked at it for ages, but I need to. And there's someone sent me an allotment book a long time ago when I first started the allotment. 
but they never said who they were and so I should bring that too that's really good oh lovely so what have we got we've got french climbing beans we're going to sow some spring onion I might do the spring onion under the cucumber and when am I going to try the um I don't know what's going on with this beetroot but every time I've sowed it sowed or sown sown it they just haven't grown maybe it's been too hot so maybe the hope well let's second third time la third oh no I can't talk third time lucky I'm going to do a bit of watering. So maybe this seed as well. I did sow this on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so I hope you're all well and not too hot and bothered like me. It was, it was raining earlier, um, very, very lightly. Um, now it's all sunny. Although, to be fair, there's quite a bit of cloud in the sky. And it, oh, uh, can you see that? Isn't that lovely to find out that? Because when after the last one, you would have seen it in the um, come up on the in, in text on the last video. But it was so pleased to hear that it was an actual variety of sea holly that it sold by nurseries and whatnot. It's just gone a bit mad there, and apparently you can divide it. So I will. Um, I think I. Uh, when I get to cutting it back and digging it up I'll sort of try and replant it because it's kind of smothering the uh, rosemary at the moment but that I'd like definitely keep that that's absolutely lovely especially because they've like sold I don't know small plant in a pot for 10 pound you know in a nursery so thanks for that the comments section is always brilliant for um, information Oh, I don't know if I, I said, but the, um, I, I put millworm in it. Yeah, I did say. It looks like it's been ravaged, and I think it's been ravaged by magpies. Because when I came, there were loads of them on the floor. Because you know how it... Oh, that's no good, is it? Oh, I mean, you know, feed all birds, I, I agree. But I want to feed the small birds as well. And the small birds won't get a look in if magpies are kind of going crazy over it. I thought that bird feeder wouldn't wouldn't be big birds wouldn't be able to feed off it mm. oh do you know what i reckon they've been doing they've been knocking it to spill the the, the millworm because they're clever creatures aren't they magpies they work out to knock it and it will spill onto the ground because it's completely empty they've they've, they've they've hit the lot and i filled it up yesterday so i've got some normal bird seed at home i wonder if they'll, oh, they'll be the same about that i'll have to just Bring that next tomorrow and try that normal small bird seed. I don't know. Greedy blighters. Right, I've got to get my gloves on because I'm going to do impromptu reading as we go and figure out, take the so so seeds to sow and um yeah just sow some seeds bit of weeding oh and i did get a, another um wheelbarrow of um wood chips because i didn't manage it like yesterday when i was doing that for the old for the old paths i only managed to do the new paths but you need to replenish wood chip paths every so often because they just slowly disappear but i'm just going to leave it in the wheelbarrow and kind of do that tomorrow yeah, let's go for a walkabout. Current French climbing beans and they haven't done well at all. So we're just going to re-sow in between. Right there, there, you know, see how it goes. And hopefully they germinate.
two bed in. Not two there. So hopefully they do better than their earlier ones. Probably didn't see any of that. <laughs> I've just sewn them in between the current ones. I'll water them in a minute. Yeah. Just gonna pick it down. Okay. This is the, the um, oh, beetroot. It just won't germinate. But hopefully this one will. Third time lucky, eh? This is under the cucumbers. Spinach in the middle. And then spring onion or spring onion? Yeah. Two rows here and one at the front of the cucumbers. I'll just move this thing. This is at the front of the cucumbers.
Let's get some water. Water the seeds. Oh, I'm gonna need to get some more. Right, I'm gonna get my gloves on and then we'll just do a walkabout, picking up anything weed-wise. Oh, that's what I see. That's the melon, that needs, everything needs water. So I'm just gonna do a little walkabout up the odd weed here and there. Got to keep on top of it, haven't you? Obviously not. Um, well, they grow like the clappers, don't they? I wish my seedlings would grow like the weeds. It's just not right. Get the grass away. That's the other melon. These are sort of wildflowers, these ones. Not that, though. Yeah. Clematis is still alive for you. The uh, sweet pea need watering. Everything needs watering. I will do that. There's the wheelbarrow. Oh yeah. Actually, we might as well just get some water. Runner beans look great. Love the runner beans. Well, I've only got one hand, so I'm just going to leave that one there. Let's just take this to this bottom water trough. No one's around, so I can take you with me. It's nice and close. I mean, I'd love it if it was next door, but you know, this isn't bad. I'm trying to whip my glove. So this is what a trough looks like. Do might make me think of horse troughs. So I'm just doing gonna just water seedlings, the important things first. Oh. And they're coming through on this one. I sowed this about a week ago roughly, I think. This is great. Oh. And the... Oh, save a bit for seedlings. I will, I will go back, but I'm not going to necessarily film that. <sighs> Just the seedlings and a few of the babies. I'll carry on watering later. But let's do the walkabout, aka weed walkabout. <laughs> That's what I should call it. Weed walkabout. That's, this is sort of like part of the path that I'm going to replenish. These nasturtiums are doing so well, and I didn't sow them, they just started. They must have been from, I don't know, started lying dormant in the soil. That's something that could be grown here. Maybe I could do a quick a wigwam for the peas. Oh, the courgette's there, to be fair. Although I might move that. Oh, I don't know if courgette's mine being moved. I'll have to look that up. And that's the one onion that kind of survived. It'd be interesting to see how that is. <laughs> the others all got 
twisted disease, whatever that is. I need to put manure on my compost bin. Someone mentioned that and that, you're right. I was thinking of that. I need to do that. Um, I still need replenishing. You can see the cardboard under, underneath. Do your best in it. Blighters. trying to grow under the cardboard. Uh, needs replenishing. Because, because this is good because I, I need to clear before I put more wood chip down. Oh, oh that pumpkin. Very good. It's often the joins, sometimes they creep through. You have to make sure the cobbled really overlaps. Oh, there it is. <laughs> See this garlic, look how it's failed. It's just, I said that months ago. It's just not, not worked. <sighs> right, 
I'm going to get more water, do a fair bit of watering. Right, last bit of watering, melon. Oh, I mean, that's growing. Quite pleased with that. Uh, the red currant or white currant. Don't know. I don't. I can't remember. I keep forgetting to look when I'm home. That courgette. Oh, and I just remembered that's a, another melon there. Don't know how well they'll do, but it's worth a go. Next time I'll sow them earlier. Not forgetting. Climber. Oh, and um, let's do redo the uh, the sorry uh, French climbing beans. I sewed or sewn sewed today. Oh, oh, wow. well, thanks everybody for watching. Check out the sea holly. Let's have a look at it. Oh man, that looks so good. I really love that. I don't know how long I need to dry it for. I might um, look that up, or if any of you know, let me know in the comments. But I'll le leave it to hang there for months if, I, if it needs it. Um, and then it will go up, go in my house, go in one of my rooms, the front room, I think. I've got a nice vase for it. Oh yeah, so thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you, this is going out Friday, at the, on Monday. See you Monday. Take care everybody. Bye. Hope you all have a great weekend. I'm going to leave you with some allotment bird chirping. <laughs>